Have you been thinking that just one small piece won't affect me? You know, as we get into the holidays and we start just eating foods and consuming foods that are loaded with sugars, some of these foods, they create these AGEs, they're advanced glycation end products. And I know what you're thinking, what is that, right? <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Crockett. This is Dr. Crocker with Zeal Integrated Health. And these dietary AGEs, they create systemic inflammation throughout the body. And the way it does it is these, these sugars, they bind to the proteins and the lipids. And basically what they're doing is they're, they're driving complications for people that are suffering from diabetes and autoimmune conditions. And in diabetics, AGEs yeah. actually are associated with uh, increased vascular damage, vascular diseases, kidney failures, uh, nerve damage, yeah. you know, just to name a few of the things that are impacted by these things. So the, these foods that we're consuming obviously are creating some problems for us. So the, the question is, how's food related to this? Yeah, so that's one of the big questions. And, and actually the food industry has been doing this for a long time. What they're doing is that they're combining um, these sugar and proteins together or sugar and lipids together and basically what they're doing is they're they're going to increase they're going to they're going to cook these things at a high temperature which is going to create a really a, the favorable taste that everybody's looking for that's the one that makes you want to go back for that second piece the problem is when you put these things um, together what it's doing is in our gut it's actually activating our immune system and it can create some of these diseases that we're talking about Bet. So if foods that are associated with this, what should they look for and try to avoid or minimize their intake of? Yeah, um, one of the first things that's going to be coming up is bread. So you're going to look at breads, things that are, you're going to marinate in. So whether, you know, foods that are soaked in these sweeteners, there's a lot of artificial sweeteners out there. There's a lot of, you know, not even artificial, but just regular types of sugar that create part of these. You're going to look at uh, chips, pizza, fried food. So anything that's cooked at a high temperature. Um, so, you know, you, when you put it in that, your meat in that deep fry, it might taste good, but it's really not good for you. Obviously, the more processing that it's going through, yes. the more flavoring that we're trying to put in something, it's going to complicate this and maybe drive some of these AGEs um, into our food source. Definitely. Yeah. So, ways to prevent this, ways to, to try to change yep. that, really reduce these foods that we're taking in that we've discussed. Um, but eating raw vegetables, you know, eating some of these fruits and vegetables that have not been cooked, have not been put through those processes. Yep. Might even look at uh, cooking meats at a lower temp yeah. so that you're not actually, you know, breaking down some of these things and creating some of these AGEs in our cooking process. Um, so green tea is another thing that can actually help yep. with this. So consuming some green tea. And then oftentimes what we'll do here in the clinic is we'll run people through either a detox process a couple times a year where they can help clear some of this stuff out of their system. Yep. And then obviously there's some work that you can do on gut repair yep. and uh, rebuilding some of the gut lining and, and helping to prevent some of these things from getting into your system. So I, I hope this helps reduce your AGEs and the, just the risk of complications. And if you like this content, just remember to share it with others.